Scarf was a busy man at Khan this year. But between all those client meetings and seminars, there was only one thing on this 26-year-old's mind. How to get advertisers on board Tumblr, a blogging platform that's said to be internet's curator of cool. Home to more than 120 million blogs, Tumblr claims that its users make over 70 million blog posts daily and visitors spend 24 billion minutes on the site every month. But what makes Tumblr special is its youth appeal. More than half the 13 billion page views are by teens and college goers. No wonder then that the six-year-old site commanded a whopping $1.1 billion when it was bought by internet giant Yahoo in May. Tumblr earned $13 million in revenues last year and this year it has set itself a target of $100 million. While its own advertising program is just over a year old, Yahoo's platform and ad tools will certainly help notch up the numbers. But the big challenge will be from other social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook who are fighting for the same ad dollars and most importantly, its own users who have not taken kindly to past attempts of pushing ads. What's your business model and post the uh, Yahoo buyout, is there pressure to deliver? Is there increased pressure to deliver? There was always pressure. I mean, we've been, uh, you know, I think as an independent company where we don't have those resources behind us, there's, uh, you know, even more pressure to make sure that we're uh, uh, keeping a handle on things. But we, uh, look, we've been so excited to prove that, you know, to one, prove our business thesis and to two, to just you know, make this a, a sustainable thing that can be supporting and serving creators for a long, long time. Um, so, no, the, the pressure uh, is no different. The support, the support will be huge. Then? Oh, sorry. So, the business model is very simply, you know, think of Tumblr as, you know, a media network like any mm. magazine, like any TV show where people come hungry for content. Mm. They come to Tumblr, spend more time there than any other network, spend more time than Pinterest, Twitter, mm. Facebook. Uh, they, they spend more time there than any other network enjoying stuff that they love, enjoying content. And the thing is, when people show up hungry for new mm. great content, when they're in that mode, when you put more content in front of them mm. that they enjoy, even if it's branded, they don't balk at it. They actually mm. really appreciate it. They actually really enjoy it. And it's a chance for a brand to mm. show show off their brand, show show that person a lifestyle that they can but aspire to. But many of to. your attempts yeah. to monetize and push advertising have been, has been met with a lot of resistance. Uh, what is the challenge and the I, way I, I out I think the then? difference, yes. Yeah. So I think the difference is that so much of the advertising you know, that's been built on the web has been sort of adjacent to yeah. social activity. So yeah. you show up on any of these networks because your friends are there, because you yeah. want to interact and communicate. And so, you know, when there's suddenly a call to action to go, like, buy tickets to a mm. movie or sign up for something uh, or watch a trailer, that can be jarring. It's not really part of the experience. But again, because Tumblr is, me you know, you're media. Mm. It's art, media. People come there to see the stuff that they love. When you're injecting more stuff that they love, more stuff that they enjoy, it works. I mean, you know, I I'd say Vogue is the clearest mm. example of this you can get. If you took all the ads out of Vogue, one, it would be a much smaller magazine. Yeah. But two, it would be much less the magazine. Hmm. You know, th those ads are great content. They're a big part of the experience. And you know, what, what we're here this week to do is to push more of those most creative hmm. advertisers to make, uh, to make ads that make Tumblr better, that make for more great, fun stuff on Tumblr for people to enjoy. So what are the advertising technology and uh, scale of Yahoo that you will be tapping into? So look, you know, for us, it's, it's a few things. It's they have... Uh, decades of ad tech, hmm. which is a real thing. I mean, that, that is an incredible resource that we are building from scratch right now. We're a year into it and we're really going from a zero start. So we were either going to be building it ourselves, hmm. you know, buying something off the shelf, acquiring somebody. Now we have all of Yahoo's technology hmm. behind us. That's huge. Other thing is, um, you know, they have relationships with advertisers that we are you know, still building. They have relationships going back, again, decades. That's a really powerful Thing as we, we look to okay. really turn this into a big, big business. Who, sorry, who do you think is your biggest competitor? And I also wanted to ask you, you know, how do you stay ahead of the curve? Because, you know, you have competitors who have a lot of oh, users as yeah. well, and you are sharing information, so you're all connected to each other. I can Pinterest, Tim, Tumblr, Facebook, and uh, Twitter a uh, feed. So the, uh, this is actually something we're very opinionated about. So, mm. you know, our, our thesis in all of this, our belief is that we're not so smart. And it's actually kind of silly that engineers get so much credit in this world right now. You know, I, I think 
the, the most rewarding thing, the most fulfill mm -hmm. fulfilling thing, certainly for me and for our team at Tumblr, isn't us coming up with the next great idea and us staying ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. It's us keeping up with the technology and supporting all of the stuff that the new technology mm -hmm. supports and letting the creative people here, all of those creative people all over the world mm -hmm. who have some idea, who have some vision, make sure that they have the tools mm -hmm. to make the thing that is way ahead of the curve, that okay. surprises all of us. That's our you know, hope in all of this is that we set up those most talented creators, those most aspiring creators to make something that surprises us. What's your opinion of YouTube? I know that you have one. I'm a huge fan of YouTube. You know, what I love about YouTube, um, so a few things. One is anybody that's building new commercial tools mm -hmm. for creators is incredible. So the idea that uh, if you make video, so musician, comedy, film, mm -hmm. whatever, documentary, whatever whatever your art is, if it, if it works in video, you can check a box and start making real money from that mm -hmm. is amazing. And they deserve so much credit for that. Um, you know, I think... Uh, but you think they're messed up some way? You think they well, could have been bigger? Well, look, my, my thing on Tumblr is I, I just, I don't like any of these these networks being so kind of narrowly defined. And what, what I think, mm. you know, where I see YouTube stars using Tumblr really well mm. is they go beyond the video. Okay. Right? So everybody on YouTube is the same sort of gray Facebook channel, or excuse mm. me, gray uh, YouTube channel. And um, that's... Again, it's it's a great way to distribute video. It's a it's a great commercial platform too. Mm -hmm. But when you want to go beyond that, when you want it on your own domain name, when you want to present it in a way that you're truly proud of, that looks like you and feels like you, and every little link is in your voice and in mm -hmm. your language, and uh, you want to go beyond just video, you want to share the behind the scenes photos yeah, and yeah. your writing and occasionally your you know short jokes and your long essays, your you know sets of photos, your panoramas, uh, links off to other content. Mm -hmm quotes from things that you're reading, that kind of stuff. You know, the, the idea that you, you cap out the creator in one medium, I, I just think is, I, I think there's more to do. But I, I think when it comes to that medium, YouTube is doing incredible, incredible what, work. If you had to recruit someone, mm -hmm. say, from India, and, had, and mm. that person had to report directly to you, what are the key qualifications required? So we have uh, two things that we, we talk about at Tumblr we actually give awards for every month mm -hmm. on our team. One is the Humbler Award, which is for uh, folks that just, you know, put... Tumblr and our community before themselves and do you know some extraordinary work that goes beyond their normal duties. You know, so much of you know why we're doing this is not about building the biggest business in the world. It's not about you know we think we're so great and we want to sh you know show off what we can do. It's that there's this community of creators out there that makes the stuff that we love that we just adore and we want to support. Yeah. We are constantly in service of that community, and so people who show off that sort of humble uh, yeah. uh, spirit uh, really. You know, it's something we celebrate. The other other award we give out uh, is the F Yeah Award, celebrating people who uh, really uh, take initiative. Uh, and when I say take initiative, I mean look look at something. Because Tumblr, we're still, you know, we're a hundred something people mm -hmm. today. Um, very often there are things that aren't getting done. You know, there's something that we haven't hired for yet. You know, there's a role we haven't filled. There's something that I've forgotten about that's been overlooked right now. Uh, and... Uh, something that just none of us realized was important but somebody catches on like this is important this can be big this can change things and they take it and they go and figure out how to do it hmm. and they don't they don't always even ask for permission they, they see that it's important they figure out what needs to be done and they go and do it and that's something like look all, all of the the leaders who have emerged at tumblr and have been you know truly successful here there are people who, who showed up and you know, didn't didn't wait for my orders. There are people who who saw something that needed to be done, saw many things that needed to be done, and figured out how to do it. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you on Story. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Incidentally, Tumblr is also known to have a sizable amount of adult content, though the exact amount is only known to the couple.